almost got T-boned out here.
almost got t-boned out here um i am here at current tuck and political loop um i just nearly nearly got hit so i was pulling out there out of matthews and um, this yellow sports vehicle out there it's an older sports vehicle i'm so shaken up right now i am literally shaking okay so the speed limit here is 25 miles an hour thank god that this yellow car stopped well they didn't stop but they slowed down right at the moment so um yeah holy cow life flashed right before my eyes thank god that yellow car stopped and slowed down they put their hazards on holy shit because I pulled out and I just happened to cross right into it. And which is why I'm just so glad I survived that. I'm not coming out of that entrance anymore. So, anyway, I'm okay. I'm sure the other guy's all right. I gotta get out of here. You know, while I was, while I was doing this, I just, the yellow car came out, almost sideswiped me. 25 miles an hour I'm just so glad that we didn't actually hit otherwise I will probably would have died today um, I'm all right but I gotta pull over to put my camera back on so see you guys in a minute camera i wish i called on camera that way i would have seen it So what ended up happening was um, I'm all right, I'm okay, but the um, but the yellow little sedan nearly took me out. But he was about maybe about about maybe three to four to five feet away from me, and it was able to slow down in time and put on its brakes. I don't know what I did to be so lucky to nearly miss it because I literally, literally w watched as the car slowed down. It was like nearly slow motion. And, you know, when this is all happening, oh, look at this kid. He's going to be looking at him with Dan's family. He looks like, uh, looks like somebody from, uh, from... Daddy 05 or something. <laughs> anyway, so then, you know, what happened was is I almost get hit by the... I almost get hit by the car. And I'm thankful I was able to survive it and make it through because I thought I was going to die. I mean, I mean, holy cow. I mean, I'm just glad I'm all right. And the other guy's all right, because I know he probably was scared too, or whoever was driving it. But that was a close call. I was probably the most closest call I ever had. Now, now what could I have done better? I should have just stuck out a little bit. But the problem is, um, it's a really blind corner at the Matthews Village in the Estates. 
So, which is why I was like, you know what, I'm not going to worry. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and through because it seemed all clear. Well, this guy came by, nearly took, hit me at at um, 25 miles an hour, which, as you may know, isn't that, that, that fast. But had he been going about 30, maybe 35, it probably would have been way, way worse. And that's why I'm never going to go up to that Matthew Village again. And I know next time I have to fully look. But the thing is, is his blind spots. And the thing is, if he would actually hit me, I probably could have been seriously injured or died on impact. Um, But there was also nobody around at the time. So nobody would have nobody would have said nobody would have wit- would have witnessed it and i'm just glad i made it back one piece and uh at the end of this video i'm going to show the little puncture in my tire because i my tire got cut from something i realized it on friday and fridays are awesome but when i saw it i was like oh my what is that so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the um the whole entire whatever hopefully it doesn't cause a flat it, it it's not been a problem at all let alone that near accident I almost got into but uh but yeah I'm all right and uh thank you and thank you to those who who um who you know up uh, who is glad I'm all right and everything and uh just make sure that you guys like and that you guys comment and guys subscribe because, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I know it might be a little scary, but uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in another video.